We, we came up with the idea for the show because of, you know, the stereotypes. We find that a lot of times when people go looking for black comedians, they go look for the stereotype of what they feel a black comedian is. I recently fell down in the shower. <laughs> if ever stop looking at his lips, he'd be a decent actor. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What, what was that about? I got this guy in front of my building. I know he murdered somebody. His name is Big Mike. I just can't prove it. Personally, I would like my frosted flakes with a third less flakes. <laughs> Last Tuesday, I was walking home. A homeless dude comes up and goes, Yo, you got any spare change? Like, uh, no, I don't. He goes, No, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, you knew I was joking, man. <laughs> Black comedians was a universal appeal. There's eight people there, and you start singing eight people. That's my headliner shirt right here. This year. Wanted to kind of create a buffer before we start the show. When you got the cuffs, you just head back. Like, hey. No. Camera, your pitch might be bigger than no. you. <laughs> yes, sir. What'd you say? I'm sorry. <laughs> It was 83 when I saw Delirium, Eddie Murphy Delirium on HBO. If a joke doesn't work, not to take it personally. My whole point of coming in the stand-up is to be able to say something. A lot of people have come to think, okay, that's what black comics do. It's a funny guy right here. <laughs> I'll give you a tip later, sir. Um, the people who are the critics about what you do are the ones who never tried it. Comics who are like caught in the middle, who are able to make black audiences laugh and white audiences laugh. And... Ha 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 